today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open the Ajani Valiant Protector Planeswalker deck. So this is from Aether Revolt, came out in 2017 before the channel was started, so we never actually reviewed this at any point. So let's check it out here. So what do you get? A 60 card deck, foil premium Ajani Valiant Protector. Two Aether Revolt, Booster Pack, Strategy Insert, and Quick Reference Card. Alright, so let's get stuck into it. So this one cost me about $27, about double the price uh, than when they first came out. So they're getting a little harder to find these days, but still I thought I'd check it out. So let's see what we've got here. And these are usually aimed at newer players, so if you've been playing for a while, you're probably not going to be terribly interested. But uh, nice deck box here, a Jani. And let's take a look at the foil. Okay, so we have a Jani Valiant Protector. Planeswalker a Jani, four loyalty for six. His plus two, put two plus one plus one cannons and up to one target creature. Plus one reveal cards from the top of your library into your reveal a creature card. Put that card into your hand and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Minus 11. Whoa. Put X plus one plus one counters on target creature where X is your life total. That creature gains trample until end of turn. So some nice foiling there. And let's open the deck box. Check it out. Okay, so here's the deck. Here are our two packs, which we will bless with Ajani himself. Hopefully getting us the crazy pulls. And this little thing here, you'll find this in a lot of the Planeswalker decks. They have a quick reference here. So casting spells, a bit about lands and set up parts of a turn. So very useful when you're getting started. It can seem a bit complicated. And let's check out this thing. So this is going to tell us about Ajani, Aether Revolt. So there we are, Valiant Protector, learning to play, Planeswalker cards. So it tells you about those, how to play the deck. So let's see, creatures, I think there's life gain, boosting the deck. So the idea is with those uh, booster packs, you can Improve your deck. Here is the deck list. So a whole bunch of stuff from Aether Revolt. And then on the back here, you learn a little bit about Ajani Goldmane. So he's the Planeswalker. And some other stuff. We'll actually be taking a look at the Tezzeret deck as well shortly. Later today. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's dig into the deck proper. And leave a note in the comments, did you play this one back in the day? Did you get your start in magic with this deck? I'm curious how many people started with this thing. Okay, so we'll go through the mana base first. Looks like it's going to be green and white. We have a Tranquil Expanse, Enters Battlefield tapped. You can tap it for green or white. So we're probably going to get four of those. Yep, as expected. And then Forest, nine of those. And nine planes, okay, so evenly balanced there. Now let's take a look at the deck. We have a Solemn Recruit Creature Dwarf Warrior 2-2 two, two for three with double strike and revolt at the beginning of your end step if a permanent you control left battlefield this turn. Put a plus one plus one counter on Solemn Recruit. So that's a rare, you can tell by the gold color there. Ajani's Aid, Enchantment for 4, when it enters the battlefield you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Ajani Valiant Protector, so there he is over there. Reveal it, put it into your hand, if you search your library this way, shuffle it, and you can sacrifice Ajani's Aid. Prevent all combat damage a creature of your choice would deal this turn. Okay, so we get two of those, so you can dig up your Ajani. Aid from the Cowl, Enchantment for 5, Revolt. Beginning of your end step of a permanent you control left battlefield this turn, reveal the top card of your library. If it's permanent card, you may put it onto the battlefield, otherwise you may put it on the bottom of your library. Okay, and next we have Nanam Renegade. So this is a Elf Warrior, has Death Touch, also has Revolt. So that's the mechanic in this set. We have two of those. 
Verdant Automaton, so you can pay the cost there, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So you'll find artifacts are a big thing in Aether Revolt. Ajani's Comrade has Trample at the beginning of combat on your turn. If you control an Ajani Planeswalker, put a plus one plus one counter on this guy. Three of those. Audacious Infiltrator! Can't be blocked by artifact creatures, so a low-end dwarf rogue creature there. So we've got three of those. Girapur Guide, Elf Scout, Pay Tuna, Green, Target Creature you Control, can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less this turn. Silk Weaver Elite with Reach, so that'll allow you to get those flying creatures with a revolt. And when it enters the battlefield, if opponent you control left the battlefield this turn, draw a card. So two of those. Deadeye Harpooner. Creature Dwarf Warrior has Revolt, so when it enters the battlefield, if opponent you control left battlefield this turn, destroy target tap creature and opponent controls. Armorcraft Judge, so when it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. So we've got a lot of counters here. Enter the battlefield effects. Two of those. Lifecraft Cavalry has revolt and trample when it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it if opponent you control left battlefield this turn. So two of those. Ridge scale Tusker. This is a higher end creature. When he enters the battlefield put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature you control. And next we have airdrop aeronauts with flying and revolt. So when it enters the battlefield if opponent you control left battlefield this turn you gain five life. Okay. That was going to be my next question with white. Where are the life gain effects? Okay, Renegade Map. Artifact for one enters tapped. You can tap, suck it, search your library for basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. So we're going to get three of those. Okay, thought we might have got four. Prey Upon. Sorcery for a single green target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Unbridled Growth, so this is an enchantment aura, which means you in attach it to a land here. Enchanted Land has tap, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. You can sack this, draw a card. So get to do some mana fixing with that one if you don't have the color you want. Natural Obsolescence Instant for two, put target artifact on the bottom of its owner's library. Daredevil Dragster, so vehicles were a thing in Aether Revolt. Do you love or hate the vehicles? Leave a note in the comments. So, artifact vehicle at the end of combat. If Daredevil Dragster attacked or blocked this combat, put a velocity counter on it. Hmm. Then if it has two or more velocity counters on it, suck it and draw two cards. You can crew it for two. So that means you're tapping the creatures with total power two or more. And this becomes an artifact creature, so 4-4. Four, four. Until end of turn. Inspiring Roar! Sorcery for four. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Good way to pump everybody up there. So four of those. Engineered Might. Sorcery for five. Choose one target creature gets plus five plus five. And gains trample until end of turn. Creatures you control get plus two plus two and gain vigilance until end of turn. Alright, so that's a nice combat trick. This card is a little bit bent out of shape here. Alrighty. So let's dig into the pack, see what juicy goodness we have here. Fingers crossed for those inventions. Haven't found any of those in a good long while. We have Chandra's Revolution, Metallic Rebuke, Dawn Feather Eagle, Lifecraft Cavalry, Night Marker Aeronaut. Welder Automaton, Foundry Assembler, Ether Poisoner, Night Market Guard, Prize Fighter Construct, and Uncommon's Ornithopter, Gifted Aetherborn, there's a very tasty pull, Death Touch and Lifelink, Pacification Ray, and the rare is Consulate Crackdown, Enchantment for 5, when it enters the battlefield, exile all artifacts your opponent's control until Consulate Crackdown leaves the battlefield, and a Plains, a nice servo token, no juicy goodness there, alas. So let's go for the next pack here. Okay, we have Dawn Feather Eagle, Embryal Gear Smasher, Aether Swooper, Daring Demolition, Natural Obsolescence, Lathnew Sailback, Iron Tread Crusher, Universal Solvent, Night Market Guard, Destructive Tampering, 
And Uncommon's Lifecrafter's Gift, Outland Boar, Reckless Racer, and the rare is Whir of Invention. Instant for X and 3 blue as improvised so your artifacts can help cast the spell each artifact you tap after you're done. Activating mana abilities pays for one. Search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it onto the battlefield then shuffle your library. Okay, and a forest and an ad here for magic jewels. All right, so there we have it. So this is the Ajani Planeswalker deck. All right, let me know in the comments what you think. And we'll be taking a look at the Tezzeret one real soon. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.